Alrighty, what's up everybody, Peter Gilmore here, another video, right here, on the home of all things ranting, PG Rant. Watching, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button down below, and subscribe to all my other channels, links are down below in the description box, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, share this video all over the internet, and tap that bell, turn on all my notifications so you never miss an upload. And uh, YouTube can somehow, some way, send out my videos to you, and you can watch them and leave comments and do whatever you want. And, uh, I don't know what you want to say about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I'm tired as fuck. I've been tired all fucking day, and I gotta go out in a couple hours. Because I gotta work early in the morning, so I'm gonna be more tired. The way, the way retail works, that's the way, the way it is. So I'm gonna take a little nap after I do this video, and, um... Then I'm going to take a little nap, and then I'm going to watch AEW, and then I'm going to get out of here right after AEW goes off the air. Have a little late night dinner with my parents, and then go to sleep, and then get up for uh, work tomorrow morning. Then I got to work, and then I just come home, do my AEW and NXT review, get a little bit of rest, and uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. And that's it. Alright, I haven't done a rant in a while, so uh, I think it's time to do some ranting! So, as the title below says, it's time for another rant on the PG Rants channel. And, uh, I'm hoping this video gets a lot of hits. Like, like all my rants are gonna get a lot of hits, because this is uh, probably one of my best channels. But, uh, it is what it is. So, as the title below says... I want to talk about, and I went to do this a while ago, when it first broke. And I, I just been procrastinating and putting it off for a while. And uh, now I'm getting along around to this, and I know it's a little bit late. I don't care. You know, and now and now this this situation has, you know. You know, it's gone on out of control with, with people in the YWC. You know, some, like, one, somebody, def you know, somebody defended the guy, defended this whole thing. And then he, you know, made some accusations to another, another YouTuber, called him a racial slur. And then now he's getting chastised over it. The way the YWC is, ladies and gentlemen, the fucking lame ass fucking community that it is. I'm glad I'm a, I'm not a, I'm not a part of it anymore. This is full of drama horrors, fucking people showing the dick. Uh freaking hypocrites and liars and freaking scam artists and just all out fucking idiots in this fucking community. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I got out back in 2015, uh, 2014. This has been utter shit since, two, since 2011. Utter shit. I think, and just when you think that, that, the, that the YWC was going to get better, it turns right back into shit. That's the way it is. That's all I gotta say about that. So, <clears throat> so what am I talking about? Well, if you've been haven't been you've been under a rock, this whole thing with Jordan Miles. Now we all know who Jordan Miles is. If you don't know, it's ACH who uh, has been has wrestled in Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling, Evolve. And a couple other indie feds around the country, around the world, too. The whole thing with Jordan Miles and his t-shirt. So basically, you're telling me that people are getting chastised over this for a fucking t-shirt. That's why people are arguing in the YWC, making racial, racial remarks to other people in the YWC. Over a fucking t-shirt. 
And like I said, this is why the YWC is a fucking joke. The people in it are fucking idiots. Over a fucking t-shirt. People are arguing over a fucking t-shirt. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack here. Jordan Miles, ACH, uh, signed with NXT, and he only had one match, and he, uh, maybe one match, maybe a couple matches, uh, but he had that match with Adam Cole, baby, and he lost, De deservedly so, because Adam Cole is fucking god, but that's he, he, neither here or there. Jordan Miles. Not all pissy piss <clears throat> because WWE made a shirt for him. He wants to get his merch because he's in NXT. He wants to get some money out of it. Jordan Miles, this fucking prick, goes on this big fucking tirade about his fucking t shirt. Which he claims was racist. It was, it was on a black. It was a black shirt with like a with his name, like a in like a smiley face. And he thought it was racist because it it was black. It was on it was black faced. And the and the and the and the top it off. This fucking idiot approved the t shirt. So what are you complaining about? It's a fucking t-shirt. You approved the fucking design. So live with it. But he goes on this fucking tirade on Twitter. Saying the WWE is racist. You know, I never, he's like, I never approved it. Blah, blah, blah. All this, all the fucking bullshit. So he goes on like a four-day binge on Twitter, claiming the WWE is racist and all this other shit. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Is the WWE racist in a way? It is because we don't have a lot of black champions, and Vince McMahon being the number one racist of them all. That's why we don't have black world champions. Uh, you know, I mean, we have champions that are black, like the New Day. You know, we've had black champs. Kofi Kingston you know, was champion, and I think they only did adapt to Kofi because the whole thing. Oh, we have no black, no real black um, African American champions. And don't give me that shit with the Rock. Rock's not really black. Samoan. But WWE never had a legitimate African American champion. Besides Mark Henry, who was world champion. Booker T was world champion. But they never had it back in the day. But now, you know, you know. Certain guys, like I said, the New Day, and Kofi, you know, are champions. You know, you don't see guys like Bobby Lashley as champion, though he should be. You know, and other African American guys that are in the company or in NXT when Evolve, they're not champion. You know, and everybody's saying that Vince is racist, which he. Basically is because guys that really should be champion like Lashley are not champion. They're just catering to guys like Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, John Cena. You know? In a way, WWE is kind of racist. In a way. Not totally racist, but they are, in a way, racist. And Vince McMahon is the number one racist of all time. But... No. If you go back in the day, Junkyard Dog should have been world champion. You know, I don't. You know, Rocky Johnson was, even though he's he was he's Samoan. 
He was, you know. You got guys like Tony Atlas. I don't believe he was a world champion. No, he was a tag champion. I don't think he was a world champion. But, uh... Yeah, but... This whole thing with Jordan Miles. I mean, just shut the fuck up. He goes on this big tirade. And then he's like... And then he goes on and says, I'm sorry... Blah, blah, blah. I, I misspoke. I took things out of proportion. And I thought everything was fine and dandy. Until today. This fucking prick. Goes on Twitter to answer to, uh, goes on Twitter, does a video answering one of his fans who basically is like, nobody cares about you. And he goes off Cursing the cursing at the guy. And then he basically says, Fuck WWE, I'm qu I quit. I'm not gonna be affiliated with a bunch of racists. So he basically quit the WWE. And to that I say, Goodbye, so long, farewell. Bye bye. Take your ass somewhere else if they would actually book you. And to quote a good man named Shane Douglas, You suck then, and you suck now! You weren't that good in- You weren't that good in, in Ring of Honor. You weren't that good in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And for the little short time you were in NXT, you didn't do that great. And, he, and you were only a little bit good in Evolve, from what I've seen. I've seen- I seen ACH a couple times in Evolve. He put on a pretty, uh, a couple of decent matches. Not great, but okay. I mean, really, Jordan Miles, just shut the fuck up and accept it. You could have had a promising career in NXT. You could have been the cruiserweight champion, like Leo Rush is, another black man. And I'm not making this about race, I mean, I'm being, I'm not being racist or anything like that. I have a ton of black friends. You know. But make, this is not a racial issue here. For me. I'm not coming out here and... And then going on a fucking tirade, calling everybody the N-word or any any shit like that. I'm not here to do that. I mean, I've said the N-word in the past, way back when. And I regret saying that. That was back in 2010, 2011. Eight years later. And like I said, I have black friends. And I, you know... I occasionally say the N-word to them, but it's in, it's in, you know, it's like, what's up, my, you know, to them, you know, they don't say anything bad to me, they're like, oh, you're racist. You know, I listened, back in the day, I listened to rap, like Biggie, uh, like Biggie Smalls, and, you know, Notorious B.I.G., uh, Tupac, you know, guys like that, you know, Dre, Snoop Dogg. All, all the others, Jada Kiss, the Wu Tang Clan, Jay Z, you know, uh, DMX, stuff like that. You know, all the, all, the, all the rappers back in the day who were actually good, who were actually good. Rap nowadays just sucks, fucking cock. I'm a metal guy. I, you know, I don't listen to to the new, you know, the, the new standards of me, of uh, rap. I don't, I don't like today's rap. It's garbage. All this mumble bullshit. I like old school rap. Like I said, Biggie, Biggie, Tupac, uh, Nas, you know, Kanye, all those, all the, all those great, those great rappers back in the day, early, early, early nineties, early two thousands, you know. And like I said, I have. I have a lot of black friends. You know, my my best my my best friend is black. 
Like he moved he moved away. I don't talk to him as much as I do anymore. And I got a, I got some black friends on Twitter. I got black friends on Facebook. I don't talk to them much because I let them be. I I I don't you know conversate with them. But I had them on my friends list. You know, I'm an equal opportunity person. You know, I like all races. You know, I don't discriminate against anybody. You know, I'll, I, you know, I'll hang out, hang out with black people, my black friends. I'll hang out with with Asian people. I hang out with Indian people. I hang out with, you know, Irish people, Italian people, stuff like that. I hang out with anybody. But I won't go out and call and go on a racial tirade just because I don't agree with with them on something like Jordan Miles did. What's over a fucking T-shirt? This guy is a fucking idiot. Over a fucking T-shirt that he approved. Like I like I mentioned, he approved the T-shirt design. I don't know how many t-shirts he would have sold. If any. Dolph Ziggler had a, you know, had a t-shirt. And he, which he approved. And it wasn't a really a nice looking t-shirt. But he approved the design. Did he go off on a racial tirade? No. That's like saying if I, you know... If I was in the WWE or any other promotion, and they wanted to sell my merchandise, they came up with a design. I look at it. I would think, oh, this is nice. This might sell a, a few hundred or a few thousand uh, units. You know, I would go. I would go with it if it's a nice. If it's, if it's a pretty nice design, then I feel like it will sell. I would go with it, but if it looks, if I don't like it, I don't. I want maybe something to change. I would say, okay, let's change this up a little bit to make it stand out. You know, and if like, and if the WWE or PWT, P, uh, Pro Wrestling Tees or whoever makes my T-shirt goes against me, I, I would get mad because. I'd be like, hey, I approve this type, this design. Why are you going against my word? I want it this way. Why are you going against me? Why are you making it this way? Just because you think it's cra it's a it's a good idea? No. I think, like I said, Jordan Miles went it out of proportion here. Was he? He likes he he approved the design, and now you're going back on your word, and now you're calling the WWE racist just because it, it was in, on a black shirt. And most and 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 George, I know, well, I don't know Albert. Albert, I think his his real name's Albert. Albert, I know you're watching, you little prick. Albert, most wrestling T-shirts and most and most sports T-shirts are on black. Most t-shirts are, are have designs on black shirts. You fucking idiot. You think a guy like Adam Cole Bebe would, would go on a fucking tirade because he doesn't like the way his shirt looked? You don't hear Leo Rush complaining. You know, Leo Rush got into a little bit of a little bit of trouble, but he learned from it, and look where he is now. He's the freaking cruiserweight champion. He learned his lesson. Now you're gonna learn your lesson, I don't know. If you keep going on and on and on, flapping your fucking gums, blaming WWE is racist when you approve the fucking t-shirt. You're not going to get anywhere in life. What more power to you?
More power to you, Jordan. More power. Albert. Whatever your fucking name is. Over a fucking t-shirt. Are you fucking kidding me? This is, you know, this is why you don't get good things out of, out of life. I mean, sorry. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I just don't get it. I don't know what his problem is. He approved the fucking t-shirt idea. The design. He approved the design. Was it a little racist? Uh, I'm not one to say it if it, if it was or not. I'm not the one to say. I, I have my own opinion on it. I think it, the design looked like shit, personally. But was it racist? I don't really think so. I really don't think so. But, you know... And then it gets to the point, you know, it got to the point where people in the YWC... Freaking arguing and just bashing each other over a fucking t-shirt. Over the opinion of the t-shirt. An opinion of Jordan Miles. I'm not name dropping anybody. I really don't want to get involved in this fucking bullshit. But. Or. For anyone who offended it, I mean that's your that's your opinion. You could say the WWE is racist, and we all know the WWE is is kind of racist. But to go on video and then you know bash somebody else of the, of a different color, calling them a cracker. I, I think that's out of line. And. Like I said. I'm not name dropping anybody. But. You know. They made the video. You know. Calling Booker T. Booker T and Uncle Tom. Which I thought was really low. You know, and Booker and Booker T didn't like what how Jordan Miles handled it. You know, but calling Booker T and Uncle Tom is, is just low. And then calling a white man a cracker. And not apologizing for it, I might add. Is is even worse. And you wonder why you're getting bashed. For most of the people in the YWC. You wonder why. You know. And friends that you made. All. all you know. That are white. Have white friends. Now unfriended you. And. You know. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, this community is fucking... It's a fucking joke. And Jordan Miles is a bigger joke. And look where it ended up for him. He has quit. I can almost guarantee no wrestling promotion is gonna sign this guy. AEW better not sign him. TNA better not sign him. New Japan better not re-sign him. CCW better not sign him. Even though he will get his ass handed to him in CCW. You know, NWA better not sign this guy. I don't care if he goes to an indie fed that, that, that caters to 10 fucking people. Nobody's gonna give a shit about Jordan Miles ACH anymore. Nobody's gonna give two shits about him anymore. 
He is fucking irrelevant right now. In my eyes. He's, he, he's fucking irrelevant. He handled the situation poorly. And people that have done videos defending Jordan Miles, ECH, you know, like I said, they have their own opinion. Let them have their own opinion. But if they take it a step further and call white people cracker, I can't, I can't accept that. that. That offends me. I'm a white man. I'm a fucking full-blooded Italian. And 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 like I and like I said, I would have I, I would have done this video about a week or so ago. But you know, I went back and forth thinking about what I was gonna say. Cause I know I knew if I did a video talking about this situation, I might have got some heat about heat from it. And I personally don't give a shit. This is my own opinion. If you don't like it, that's that's fine and dandy. But I think Jordan Miles handled this situation very poorly. He and I get, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep saying it. He approved the fucking T-shirt. And he's pissed off that it's a racist T-shirt when, when it didn't really look that racist. Because because a lot of T-shirts are made on black cloth. Just about every T-shirt. That you know, that you've seen, it'd be it'd be football, basketball, hockey, whatever. It's usually on black cloth. You know, it's just the way the world is. The way the world is in 2019, going into 2020. So much fucking racism going around. And it's gonna it's gonna continue for years to come. It's always gonna be a racial issue wherever you go. Wherever you, where, where, wherever you go. In the, at, at home, it could be at work, it could be in school, it could be at, like I said, at your job. Racist, ra racism is going to be everywhere. Everywhere you go. And if you can't accept it, then, well... You know. I know people want to get their voice heard. And they want, you know, if you're a black man... Uh, sorry, African-American man. Or woman. Let's be fair here. You know. You know, you're you're any, any race you're a target. You're a target for racism. You know, you gotta have a strong freaking. You know, you gotta be strong. And if you you get old racist names, you know, you don't go out. Don't go go back and call them racist names. Just ignore it. That's what I think Jordan Miles should learn. Just ignore this fucking thing and go with the t-shirt design that he approved. Or go to the t-shirt company saying, hey, this isn't this this isn't a good idea. I don't think this is gonna work. Let's do let's try something else. Don't go on a big fucking racist tirade. And look what and look what it ended up for you. You're out of a job. And you're going to have a, a real tough time getting a job or making any good money. If you go on the indie circuit, you're not going to make that much money. Because you're going to go to an, uh, an indie fed that'll, that'll probably get maybe 50, peop 50 to maybe 100 people. You're going to get chastised. You know how people are. They fucking wacko. Jordan Miles is going to get fucking criticized wherever he goes now. And he's only got himself to blame for it. He 
should have just, he should have kept his mouth fucking shut. Just shut the f fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Straight up. You know, and like I said, people and you know, people in the YWC, you know, I don't know. I I can't. I can't. I'm not gonna get race racial or anything. I'm gonna just shut my mouth. You know. No. And like I said, they have, you know, one guy has his own opinion about the t-shirt idea, you know, he goes off on a big tirade, then he calls, he calls a white YouTuber a cracker, I think that was fucking low. It, it was very low, what, what he did. And, you know, had videos done on him. People that were his friends are now not his friends. And he came off looking looking like an idiot. And, you know. People take things out of proportion. And, you know, in the heat of the moment, they think they're right. And then in the end, they're wrong. All this over a fucking T-shirt. It's just a, f and I, I mentioned this in comments. I said, it, I, I, I said in comments, it's just a fucking T-shirt. And, and it, it's this whole thing is just about a fucking T-shirt. Just about a fucking T-shirt. People. Uh, calling people, you know, ra racial slurs and everything. Look where it, look where it's ended up. Friends not being friends with the, with other people, and an ACH out of a job. Now, I don't know how WWE is gonna handle this. I don't. I haven't heard anything. I assume they're gonna they're gonna grant his release. They're gonna release him anyway. He wasn't going anywhere in NXT. Let's be honest. He wasn't going anywhere. He could have been something in the cruiserweight division. Him and him and Leo Rush could have put on a good match. But we're not gonna see. We're never gonna see that. And we'll probably never see another black. World champion. Unless they give it to Kofi again. Or they give it to maybe Big E. Or Xavier... Well, I wouldn't say Xavier Woods, but... Oh, no, somebody of... Uh, somebody of... Uh, someone like Bobby Lashley, who should be world champion. He's in a stupid storyline with Rusev and Lana. Stupid storyline. He should be going after Brock Lesnar and the Universal... T and the WWE title. Not this fucking stupid storyline. You have other guys in the WWE like Titus O'Neil, like Apollo Crews. You know. Booker, Booker T. Stevie Ray. No Way Jose. You know, they, they, they're never going to win a title. Are they going to go on a, t on a racist tirade? Saying the WWE is racist because they don't... They don't, uh, you know, they're racist towards blacks, and that's why we don't see black champions. Are they gonna go to a racist tirade like like ACH did? No. It's at the end of the day, it's their job. Everybody who goes into the wrestling world has that dream of becoming world champion, and most people don't get it. Are they gonna complain? No. If I joined the WWE. And I go on Raw, and, and 
and I get interviewed by Renee Young or Rachel Cole, Jerry the King Mauler, and they ask me what my what my goal is in the in WWE or in NXT. You know, my first answer is being coming a world champion. You know, a champion. It doesn't matter what championship it is. A champion. That's what I want to be. I want to be successful, and I want to make a lot of money, and I want to be a champion. And if I'm there 15, 20 years, and I don't become champion, am I going to complain about it? No, not really. I'm not going to complain about, about not being champion in the 15, 20 years that I've been so loyal to the company. I've done what they want me to do, even though I may not like it. A job is a job. Whether it be wrestling, or it be retail, or it be anything else. All this over a fucking t-shirt. That's fucking sad. That's fucking sad. And the ACH, fuck you. Just accept the fucking t-shirt. Or go with another design. Go go to the designer and ask for another design. But don't uh, tell don't sell the t-shirt. Scrap the t-shirt. Go with another design. Don't go on, you know. Don't get all pissy pissed because you think this is black it's blackface. It's racist. It's fucking stupid. And to ACH, I say this. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Good riddance. Good riddance. Go somewhere else. Go play with yourself for all I give a f for all I care. You're fucking irrelevant. That's all I gotta say about that. I, I really don't give two fucking shits anymore about this fucking idiot. This whole thing, you know, with people calling other people Cracker and Honky and whatever, you know, all these other names. Just fucking sad. The way the way the world is, ladies and gentlemen, that's the way we live in in 2019, going into 2020. And like I said, you can hate my opinion. That's fine and dandy. But I'm I, I'm gonna mention this again. I'm not coming out here being racist or anything. I'm just giving my opinion on this situation. Because I have black friends. I have a lot of Asian friends. I have a lot of Irish friends. I don't discriminate. I I don't say any I don't call them any racial names. You know. I'm not a racist person. I'm not. You may think I am, but I'm not. There's others in this community, well, there's in the YWC, that are generally nice in this community. I made friends with them. And I have a lot of black friends on. And I'm not going to name drop anybody. I have a lot of black friends. I don't, you know, I'll, sometimes I'll, to, I'll, I'll talk a little about wrestling. And you know, they have their own opinion. I have my own opinion. My, my, yeah, I have my own opinion. We, we agree to dis disagree. I don't go on a big tirade and call them the N-word or the C-word or whatever word. People nowadays just, you know, get fucking 
pissed off about the fucking worst thing in the world. Like I said, this is the world we live in. Racism follows us everywhere. You're going to get discriminated in any anything you do. Get school, get your job. I got to deal with it because I work in retail. You know, I can have freaking freaking customers call me, you know, call me names and call me, you know, just and just discriminate against my 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 uh, my race and everything. Fortunately, I never had that. I never had that problem. But I have, employ uh, I have coworkers that are black, that are that are Muslim, that are Indian, that are Chinese, that are Russian, and I I I see it with my own eyes. They get called names. I can't do anything about it because it's not my, not my place to say anything. Not my place. I don't want to get into a humongous fucking fight about it. That's all I gotta say about that. So, leave me your thoughts and opinions. What you guys think about this entire Jordan Miles situation. Uh, if you've been following up with the, the happenings in the YWC, leave your opinions as well. About, you know, certain people calling another the person person a cracker i think that was fucking low and really i think that person should apologize and try to clear his name but you know, the dark cloud is still going to be over his head all this over a fucking t-shirt grow up grow the fuck up that's all I gotta say about that. So leave me your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section of this video. Leave me, uh, leave me your thoughts, and that's all I gotta say about that. So I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm, I, I'm not gonna talk about this anymore. And if I get a lot of hate, I don't really give two fucks. Cause this is my own opinion. It's my own opinion. ECH handled this this really poorly, and look where it got them. We got him. He doesn't have a job anymore. And I don't think anybody will want to sign him anymore. Nobody's going to sign this guy. Because he's a fucking nutcase. And he got chastised by his own race. Like I said, Booker T, you know, said that he handled it wrong. It's just a fucking t-shirt. That's it. That's it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. That's it. I'm not talking anymore about this fucking shit. It's the last fucking video I do on this. It's the one and only video I do on this fucking situation. If it happens again, I don't fucking care. It happens again. I don't. I don't fucking care. Whether it be in the YWC, whether it be in wrestling or any sport, or in general, I don't fucking care. So this is the way the world is in 2019. It's way way it's been for years. The world is a racist place. Racism is going to follow us everywhere we go. That's all I got to say. That's it. That's it. Fuck Jordan Miles. Fuck ACH. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. And that's it. I'm out. Peace.